What's up, guys? Jake Sleesman. Chris Johnson, Blue Collar Outdoors. And today, we're going to give you our two weeks into season feedback on the Tetra Turkey Amp Pods, both the 60 Series and the 90 Series. If you guys don't know who Tetra is, this company launched this year at the NWTF. And just talking about their Turkey Amp Pods here today, they do have Amp Pods and Ampla Shield. It's two different things for deer, waterfowl, elk, as well as turkey. So they got a well-rounded market. But just talking amp pods, the turkey amp pods, these suckers right here are built to amplify the turkey sounds, aka the yelps, cuts, purrs, gobbles, etc., while dampening the shotgun to protect your ears when you do get one in range to shoot. So it, it, it protects your ears and it helps you hear better at the same time, which is pretty sweet. All right, now before you purchase a set of Tetras, uh, you go online to their website and they actually have an online hearing test. So that way they can see if you're deaf or if your hearing's good. And then they match that to your hearing for different levels, which is pretty nice. You get a pretty programmed experience. They say the 90s, they can, they can program them a little bit more to match your exact hearing. The 60s, don't, they can't program as much. But let's get it open. I'll show you, well, we'll show you what's in both the 60 and the 90, and then we'll talk about our experience thus far in the season while using them. Okay, so here we go. Inside, you have your carrying case, which both of us, we love these. I mean, they're small. You can put them right in a pocket in your vest or wherever you want to carry it. You have a cleaning tool, and then they provided you with six batteries. Now these are hearing aid tens. You can find these on Amazon real cheap for high quality batteries. I think we saw a 60 pack's gonna run you 13 bucks, which that was one of the first things I looked at. So you're not gonna break the bank on the batteries. And each battery, it's one battery per amp pod. And we found that you get, they say seven to 10 days of continuous use. I mean, have you, you changed yours once. Once, and I hunt every single morning, so. And I changed mine once. The batteries last, which is huge. Then you get yourself a Tetra sticker, and then a little sleeve for them as well. We've both opted for using the carrying case. It does provide a little bit of protection, so you can throw it right in your vest and you're fine. I got sent the 60s, and Moose got the 90s, so. His pack is, a, is slightly different than mine. And you get the little wax guards. Now, the wax guards, the little tool on the back, you just take that, put it inside, that, that little red thing there, and your little tool, okay. which is threaded on one end, you just screw it in, and it pops right out. You just dispose of that one. This case has pockets. I put one in each side. You could also put both in one and your batteries in another. But we really are astonished at how well these batteries last because we've been hunting a lot. As you can see there, that is the battery right there. And then this just folds into the amp pod. So that's running right there. I left the batteries in on both and that drained my battery life. So realistically, I've only truly changed it once from actual use, but that's it right there. That's all you got. I mean, it's a really comfortable fit. They're color coded. So this is your left ear. It's a whitish gray and then red for right ear. And all you do is you pop your battery down. This is how they look closed. So that's how you'd wear them. And then to put them in, put it into your ear and then I just twist it which pushes that down as you can see that guard naturally falls in that channel and then all I have to do is make sure they're seated and that's inside and as you can see that's how they are and it's a really comfy fit you don't really notice it's not like your equilibrium gets off I mean if you only got one in it feels a little different but you pop both in and because you can see here, there, you got like a really soft rubber coating, and it, it feels good in the ear. I mean, we've been hunting all morning with them in, 
and we've been really testing these out, roosting birds, etc. There we go. Don't even know they're there. You can't even you can't even really tell unless you're on the sides. It's it's a really comfortable fit. That's the one thing I was worried about, but from what I've seen so far, these things are I don't, comfort is not going to be a problem. One of the cool things is to change your modes. In the 60s, I have only three modes, and all you do to change it, double tap. Okay, so now I'm in turkey boost. It beeps one time. Two beeps is turkey boost plus. The third is three beeps, and that's clear comp, which for communication or something like that, it's really crystal clear. All right, now with the 90s, you also can change the channels or your frequencies and that mine has clear comp, turkey, turkey boost, ear, and also ear boost. So there's what five different settings on there. And yours actually says what channel. Yeah mine will actually say it. Mine doesn't beep it tells you what it is. And then taking them out all you do is just grab it by the the little guard there and pull out gently and then Pop your battery up, and that, that's how we store them. Okay, so to change your battery, okay, you, you can see the little red X on the battery holder here. Now, to pop this one out, you just pull it out. Woo. I'm going to get both of these out real quick. You want to be fairly gentle with it. Now, you can see the X on the battery on the top. Now, you just look at the actual battery holder now that's where that red X comes into play so that red X you just put your X up with it so you put the X with the red X that means it's in right and it'll actually slide in so that's all you have to do to change the batteries red X X on the battery and then all it is is literally sliding it into the holder and that's it. That's all you have to do. It's very simple. It's a very effective procedure. All right, so regarding, well, we went over changing batteries, changing wax guards in the 90s, uh, the channels, how to change them. Now, the main thing you're watching this for is our thoughts on the product themselves in the field. One experience I had with these, which I liked, when you're calling and stuff like that, it'll actually dampen the sound so you're not blowing your ears out but it will also magnify that gobble. So one day I was calling and I actually had a gobbler cut me off and it actually amplified that. I mean, normally you can't tell that or you sometimes you can catch that, but most times you can't. But with these, it makes a big difference. Especially this year. Yes. Uh, last Friday when I killed the turkey, uh, I picked them up in the rain. They gobbled. It clear as day, it boosted it so I could hear it. And especially this year when gobbles are at a legit minimum here, uh, you don't want to miss out on any gobble. We've been hearing birds real far away, and when you're in close, it, it does help you judge the distance. And the main thing is the location. You can better understand with Tetrazen if he gobbled in front of you, behind you, to your left. It, it really, you can get a lot more per gobble, if that makes sense. Turkey hunters will get it. You can really fine tune the location with these bad boys. It's almost like being a gobbler pinpointing where that hen's calling. You can get a real good idea of it. Plus, when you shoot, man, it, it just cuts that sound. It, it's almost surreal when you shoot because it's just like a buh, like a blank noise. It's really weird. Okay, so a couple things I can throw in with the 60s. Now, these don't, they say they don't have wind reduction like the 90s do, but I will say when you wear them, it does cut a lot of that wind because it's not going right into your ear. So on windy, rainy days, you can still pinpoint a gobbler. It still amplifies it. Plus, I've had several hunts where I could actually hear drumming 60, 70 yards out, and I could hear hens scratching. So I could hear them coming before I could even see them. Now, I may not have been able to hear that without these in, and it, it helped me. It, I cut my calling down, and I could actually work them in. So it... These help you in a lot more ways than I think either of us really expected. I, To be completely honest, 
I didn't think these would help me that much because I have great hearing. I didn't think it would be that much better, but it is because you can pinpoint a gobble exactly where he is. You've got a great idea of how far. It just it makes it a lot easier to really get the most information out of a gobble, especially just some random shot gobble, mid-morning gobbler. you got to get on him. He may only gobble once. you got Tetris in, you ain't going to miss it. When you're walking through the woods wearing these, you realize how just, that was a hummingbird. Yeah, so I almost took my head off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we almost got blindsided by a hummingbird, but uh, on a side note, both of us have experienced this. When you have these in, you're walking through the woods. Man, I tell you, when you first take that step the, for the first time wearing these on dry leaves or a twig, whew, man, it makes you paranoid because this boosts it. So it actually almost makes you walk quieter because you're trying to, minimize the sound in your ears from it so you're trying to be quieter thinking that's how loud you are so they help you in more ways than one all right one other positive thing about these is i don't know if you're like me but if i'm out with friends shooting clay pigeons or rifles or whatever i can't stand wearing earplugs because you gotta sit there and keep taking them in and out when you're talking these you don't have to do that because they're just like a hearing aid it dampens the sound of that shotgun blast and then you can just have your normal hearing when you're done. Pretty good thing. I'll actually wear these when I'm shooting now. If you put it into your clear com, it'll it'll cut the shotgun, but you'll still be able to hear crystal clear what everyone's saying. And just the amplification from these. I mean, so far in this season, I mean, the things I've been able to hear with this, unreal. It's just these are these are very impressive units, and I, in my opinion, they're well worth the money. Absolutely. It's, you can't put a price on protecting your hearing. And then on top of that, being able to hear, at least with the 60s, I can definitely hear twice as good with these in. For now, this is Chris Johnson. Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And we will get the in-depth review after season, but thus far, if you're in the market for protecting your hearing while amplifying the sounds of nature, you gotta check Tetra out. It'll be worth it, I promise you. But if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button Smash that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up if this was helpful at all. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.